Hi, welcome back to CAD-CAM tutorial. Today we are going to study what is the Whitworth quick return mechanism. We will, we will sketch this full mechanism and we will see each and every part. And at the end we will do the animation of this Whitworth quick return mechanism. I hope you like it. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. Here let's do the first part of it what quick return mechanism bull gear. So let's start choose front plane sketch and draw here two circles inner and outer ok and choose a smart dimension and assign outer circle 200 dia and inner circle 50, 50 mm diameter ok and select extruded boss and extrude up to 10 mm ok now select this part go to appearance and go to solid select red this is what I want red color now select here chamfer keep 10 mm 20 degree select this one edge select here flip direction ok again choose the same chamfer now select the opposite direction 10 mm 20 degree ok see it's perfect select this face sketch normal let's do one thing draw a center line select circle and draw one circle ok now is define the dimension keep diameter 10 mm and select this construction line and keep the length 90 mm ok select here line again choose line up to this line exit select this outer line click here convert entity now it is converted choose the smart entity mirror entities select this line and select this mid construction line copy ok trim entity and I prefer to cut this outer line uh, sorry we need to cut this inside line also ok now here select both the lines and make one relation tangent ok now let's define the angle Seven degree. Okay, now the geometry is fully defined. Select extruded cut and here keep end condition through all. Okay. See, now we need multiple number of teeth here. So let's revolve. Choose here circular pattern. Select this cutout here and for parameter select this any circular face or edge. I prefer to select age 27 number 360 degree equal spacing ok now you can see select this face a sketch draw a center line first select circle and define a circle now let's define the length 76 mm length from origin point and diameter must be 8 mm ok now extrude it and extrude up to 20 mm keep the length 20 mm ok and go to insert feature and select one option dome keep here 4 mm select this face now you can see it's the position of dome ok now select these two faces let's say yellow color ok now this is the bull gear for with what return quick return mechanism now save this create one folder with worth quick return mechanism and here save as a part number one bull gear
let's do the next part the next part is connecting rod front plane is sketch select here circle draw a circle and keep the diameter 5 mm only okay and extrude it extrude 4 mm only okay now select this face sketch normal go to sketch and select here a straight slot now start from this origin point exit choose a smart dimension select the length 350 mm and keep the radius 10 mm okay this is the our requirement select one more circle and define at the end and keep the diameter 10 mm now choose here center line and find out the center line draw one okay exit this is our center line now again choose here straight slot draw one slot from now let's define keep radius 3 mm and the slot length Ninety five mm and distance from origin point. Delete it. Okay. Now distance from origin point to fifteen mm. Okay. Now choose mirror entity and select this slot and mirror against this line. see here okay now select fully defined sketch calculate okay select here extruded boss and extrude up to only 2.5 mm okay i will define the material go to appearance solid and i prefer yellow okay go back side select surface sketch select this circle click here convert entity now it is converted it's time to extrude in direction 1 keep 3.1 choose direction 2 Four mm. See, little outside. Okay. That's it. This is our requirement. A sketch normal. Select line. exit choose text select this line and write here cad cam tutorial select mid uncheck this documented font select font and here we will define the length and width of font i prefer bold let's say 6 mm is still small select 10 mm 10 mm is quite bigger 8 mm it's perfect okay now select extruded cut at cut inside up to 1 mm okay select this font and define color black okay so this is your connecting rod
so let's save it part number 2 connecting rod save let's see the another parts let's do the next part driver front plane sketch go to sketch select here circle and draw circle with 50 mm diameter okay and extrude it up to 10 mm only okay now here select chamfer keep 10 mm Five mm thirty degree. Select this outer edge. Flip direction. Okay. Now the same. Select chamfer. Third five mm thirty degree. Select back side edge. Okay. This perfect. Select this face. Sketch normal. And here we will make teeth. First select center line and draw a vertical center line from origin point. Exit. Select circle and draw one circle. Now it's time to define. Keep the length of center line fifteen mm and the diameter of circle ten mm. Okay, choose a line and draw one line from this line to this exit. Choose mirror entity. Select this line against center line. Okay. Now select this outer line, outer circle, convert entities. Now it is converted. Trim entity, trim this outer line, and inner face. Okay. Tangent relation. Okay. Now it's time to define the angle. Thirty-five degree. Okay, that's it. This is the geometry is fully defined now. Go to feature, select extruded cut. Keep here end condition through all. See. Okay. Now we need multiple number of cut cutouts or threads. So select here circular pattern, and here select this extruded cut last face, and select one circular edge. Five number of teeth equal spacing three sixty degree. Okay. See here. This face is sketch, and draw a circle. Keep the diameter ten mm. Okay. Select extruded boss. In direction one, keep only one mm. Go to direction two and keep twelve mm. Okay. Now select the part. Go to edit appearance. Dark color. Okay. Now save this part. Part number three. Driver. Here the next part is ram. Choose front plane sketch. Select line and uh, let's draw a vertical line and just pass through origin point and connect with this exit. Now this is one geometry. Let's define 107 mm and distance from origin point to this 50 mm. Twenty-five mm. Keep the angle seventy-six mm. Okay. Select here fillet. Keep five mm and select one edge. Okay. Now select extruded boss. Keep. 
keep 8 mm and end condition make mid plane okay select this face is sketch is sketch normal select circle draw a circle with 10 mm diameter and distance from origin point 12.5 mm okay select the midpoint of circle and origin point make relation horizontal now it's fully defined so go to feature select extruded cut and cut up to 5 mm inside okay see now we want multiple number of pattern so select linear pattern select here first stage keep 8 mm and four numbers okay choose direction 2 here now select this second edge reverse 8 and number of patterns 4 see pattern seed only okay now see this is a kind of pattern for ram we will take this color okay now save this is part number 4 ram let's see the next part let's do the next part stationary pin holder front plane a sketch draw here a circle and keep the diameter 50 mm okay go to feature select extruded boss 10 mm d1 and select d2 14 mm okay we will define edit appearance we will define some color mix mix color make it little dark okay now select this face sketch circle define draw a big circle and keep it 125 mm diameter okay and extrude it extrude up to 7 mm and here select draft make degree 250 angle okay see select this face and in upward direction draw one circle seven mm and the distance from origin fifty mm okay make one relation the whole whole cir circle and origin point vertical select extruded cut make the depth only five mm okay now select this face sketch and here we will write something draw one center line exit drag it little text right here width worth mechanism width worth select uncheck keep here font bold let's try 10 10 also is small let's try 15 it's quite bigger 
12 is better okay this is perfect it worth extruded cut and make the depth 5 mm okay now this is the pin holder save it part number 5 pin holder let's see the next part the last part here slotted pin top plane a sketch and draw here a circle and keep the diameter 7 mm and extrude it up to 15 mm keep reverse direction okay select the part go to edit appearance and i prefer this color green now select the back surface sketch normal select here circle and draw two circles one is above or let's better define the circle first dia 20 mm and dia 10 mm and define the gap 100 mm okay select both the circle center point and make one relation vertical okay line select this line to this line exit here also tangent and here also tangent so select center line mirror this outer line again center line choose trim entity trim this out inside circle okay draw here one small circle and keep the diameter 5 mm i think we okay select linear pattern clear select this axis clear we need to select this pattern i think cancel it the delete this circle we will do in next step select extruded boss extrude up to 4 mm okay see select this face sketch normal draw one center line exit now simply exit again select this face sketch circle find out the center point 
and draw one circle keep the diameter 5 mm and cut keep end condition through all ok see here now we want multiple number of patterns so select linear pattern select this axis and here select cut out keep gap 7 mm 5 number of holes you can see here now ok now you can hide this sketch 3 ok now now select go back select inside surface sketch normal select here a straight slot ok draw one more slot exit smart dimension and define the distance 130 mm outer radius 10 mm and keep inner radius 4 mm ok this is our requirement extruded boss keep 4 mm ok see select this back surface sketch and here draw a circle with 13 mm diameter and select extruded boss keep 2 mm ok now this is the our slotted pin ready let's save it Whitworth quick return mechanism part number 6 slotted pin now let's start the assembly of Whitworth quick return mechanism and we will do the animation now here let's start the assembly of Whitworth quick return mechanism select new assembly ok see this is the window of SOLIDWORKS assembly so he, it is asking to begin assembly select here browse go to our file find out where is our file Whitworth quick return mechanism large icon first I bring pin holder because the first part by default always fixed right click and you can see it is asking float means it is fixed it is not move now let's browse our next part bull gear mat select this two valve coincident ok select this circular face and this circular face cocentric relation ok ok now see it's fixed here now the third driver ok mat select this face and this face coincident ok now select any front face and click normal now here it's time to adjust this gear
make sure it it should be center now select front plane the sketch normal let's draw a center line first this is midpoint draw one center line okay select circle and here draw a circle keep 10 mm diameter okay keep the length 116 mm Fifteen point five mm. Okay. Now exit from the sketch. Now it's time to create one relation. Mat. Select this face and this face, and make relation concentric. Okay. Okay. You can hide this geometry. now here you can adjust the path that's it let's browse the next part let's say slotted pin now rotate the slotted pin okay choose mat select this face and this hole concentric relation okay now select the inside face of hole and back side face of this pin concentric relation coincident relation okay now adjust this let's bring the next part select last two parts connecting rod and uh, ram open now here we will connect the connecting rod see the position mat select this mid hole and this concentric relation okay select both the walls coincident okay now it's fixed here take it down select this middle circular face select this coincident re concentric relation okay select this outer wall here also okay cancel it now let's try to adjust now select top plane mat 
and select this plane coincident ok ok now you can see it is moving along top plane only now let's adjust the gear should not match keep in mid position okay now save this assembly rebuild and save the document any name you can give assembly save now right click on this menu ba motion manager go to motion study first select here motion analysis then click motion study properties key frame per second 25 okay now drag the assembly up to 16 mm select here motor i prefer to choose this outer face rpm let's say 20 i think the direction is perfect save okay now select here contact here select use contact group see here now uncheck this friction and material now in first group select this slotted pin and this driver and in second select this bull gear uncheck material and friction okay now here click calculate see it's calculating now play drop down you can see this is the whitworth quick return mechanism i hope you like it now this animation even even you can save i will take it back edit motor reverse and i prefer less rpm then calculate stop it again go back edit 15 okay now again calculate it is quite faster than 10 rpm now it's calculating once it's calculated you can save it in directly now just play one more time yeah you can see this is the whitworth quick return mechanism i hope you like it now here you can save click on save animation it is asking you the 
direction save in anywhere you want to save i prefer desktop name you can give any name and is select here here avi file and fix aspect ratio custom aspect ratio you can select anything from here 25 frame per second save uncheck keyframe every okay now it is again recalculating so i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works don't forget to share and like our videos it may takes few more seconds to calculate once it's calculated it will automatically save in your system and you can watch how the system works i hope you like this tutorial thanks for watching